was running in Minnesota and my agent, John DeSantis, we were at the beach one day and he noticed a, a mole on my back that didn't look too good. So we had like another month to go at the Canterbury meet, uh, Canterbury Downs back then, Canterbury Park now. But uh, I said, oh, when I go back to California, I'll have that looked at. So you never look at your own back. So I'm trying to look in the mirror to uh, see that mole and it, it did, it, it was black and it, it didn't look good. So when I got back to California a month later, I uh, had the mole taken off by a plastic surgeon. He said, oh, I'm going to send it away for a biopsy. And I said, uh, you know, what is it? And he said, well, I won't know till after the biopsy. So the biopsy took about a week to happen. So while it was, while it was being biopsied, I actually rode a horse at Keeneland. And one of the jockeys that was in the shower after the races, he said, oh, what's that scar on your back? And I said, oh, I had a mole taken off and uh, sent it away to be analyzed. And... I asked the doctor, you know, what it was, and he didn't know. Uh, I'm going to get the biopsy in about a week. And he said, well, it wasn't malignant melanoma, was it? Amazingly, he knew what malignant melanoma was. I didn't even know what it was at the time. And I said, no, he just told me to stay out of the sun. Well, lo and behold, I go back to California. A week later, my biopsy is ready. I go in, and the plastic surgeon said, I've got bad news for you. That mole was malignant melanoma, and it was in its fifth level. And... You know, I was thinking about what that jockey said in the shower, and here I am, I'm driving home by myself, uh, I was going through a divorce at the time, uh, but uh, actually when I was driving home by myself, it's crazy some of the things you think about, but what went through my mind is what that jockey said, that his buddy had malignant melanoma and he only lasted for two months, and I'm thinking to myself, Matt, wow, maybe I only have two months to live, I'm not going to know who's going to win the Stanley Cup this year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know yeah. Jason. It wasn't a Leafs. Huh? I'm a big Leafs fan, and it wasn't Boston or Toronto that year. I know that. <laughs> right. But uh, so luckily, I ended up going to uh, um, Dr. Malcolm Malcolm Mitchell, who is my oncologist. Uh, he started a, a trial vaccine on me, which was experimental, and it worked. And uh, I, I owe my life to uh, Dr. Malcolm Mitchell. Wow. I mean, how did you, what, what did you, I mean, what did you do in, in addition to going to see Dr. Mitchell and, and, and having him give you the experimental treatment? What else did you do to, uh, you know, to help yourself along the way to, to, to help get rid of this thing? That's a good question, Joe, because I, I did. I changed my diet. Um, I was riding in California, uh, had a divorce and decided, you know what, I'm coming back, I'm going back to Canada. I'm an only child. My parents lived in Canada, so I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll go back to Canada. So I did. I went back to Canada, and I uh, was riding at uh, Woodbine, Fort Erie. Um, I, I think Greenwood may have still been open at that time. I'm not sure now. But anyways, I uh, went back to Canada. I uh, was, was by my parents and everything, not knowing how much time I would have to, to live. And uh, uh, an owner, I'm trying to remember his name now, um, he... He owned a lot of condo horses. He was king of the condos. Um, and he, he actually gave me a book um, on, uh, on uh, there was a, a doctor, Dr. Sadalero, who had melanoma. He had, he had uh, other types of cancers as well. He ended up going to a guy called Michio Kushi, who started a, a way of eating in the United States, I guess, probably 40 years ago now. And it, uh, this book inspired me. And so I started uh, eating macrobiotically, and I did that for about two years. And then I became vegetarian for about 20 years. And then I started introducing, once I got a clean bill of health, I started introducing a little bit of meat into my diet. I don't eat that much meat now, mostly vegetables and, and, and fish and stuff like that. So um, you know, I, I might remember by the end of the show, I might remember that owner's name. But uh, he was a, a real inspiration for me, and when you know, I decided to become macrobiotic. Uh, my mother uh, really helped me with it. And I think that helped save my life too, Joe. Well, that's a real awesome story. At what point, Sandy, did you, did, you, uh, did you realize, you know, that you, I got this, I got this beat? Well, it, it was a few years, Joe, because uh, it actually spread because uh, it started on my back, of course, and they took a large area off my back. Then about six months later, it spread to uh, uh, the left side of my neck. Um, and then uh, a few months after that, it went to my lung. And Dr. Mitchell wasn't as worried wow. about it spreading 
my lung because it, he said it doesn't usually spread from the lung anywhere else. So he let it go for two or three years and then I had an operation on my lung because it started growing a little bit in my lung and he took a lobe out and uh, then I, I continued with the vaccine shots for another two or three years. So I would say maybe eight or ten years after I was diagnosed, I felt like I, I think I've got this beat. So it, it was a while of worrying, that's for sure. Well, Anytime 36 I had a years ago, or a bump in, <laughs> right? It was scary. Thirty-six years ago, you were given a like a you know a scary diagnosis. Uh, you thought maybe you had a couple months to live, and here you are, thirty-six. I mean, you got two great boys, and you got a great life, and and uh, you had so much yeah. happen to you. That's that's just such a, a wonderful story, Sandy. You're just a, I'm sure you are an inspiration for a lot of people who are going through similar stuff uh, right now. Jason, um, I think that guy's name, the owner, I think his name was Marty Atkins. Marty Atkins. He was Marty Atkins. Condos. The condo king. Back then. King of the condos. The condo okay, Marty Atkins. Yeah. 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 The condo I, king. Was okay. point, Joe. I was going to say that, uh, yeah. you know, for everything Sandy did for racing fans on the track, hearing that human interest story, you know, just uh, takes it to another level, Sandy, because obviously racing's fun. It's real life, but in a way, it's just an escape from reality at times. So, yeah, the fact that you went through that as well. I mean, you're such an inspiration in so many ways. And like Joe just said, now hearing that for others out there that could be struggling, you know, through their own little battle, whether it be through cancer or any other sickness, uh, hey, never give up. So.